Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We continue in week two of our Change Your Thinking series. Focus today on Psalm 119. It's interesting that as we consider all of the different ways that our life can change, that our heart can change, that our thinking can change, it's important to consider that the more that we fill our lives with the power of God and the Word of God and the experience of God, the more that the Spirit of God does what only God can do, and that is always to tr- transform, to change. Psalm 119 Verse 9 begins with the question, how can a young person stay on the path of truth by living according to your word? The psalmist answers himself. In verse 10, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Lord, and teach me your decrees. I think the psalmist points to some of the realities of our own journeys to change. We know that, in part, the way to stay on the path that leads to life is to live according to the will and the word and the promises of God. We know that we need to seek God with all our heart. We know that we need to hold fast to God's commands. And yet, the natural tendency in you and in me is to wander. I love in verse 11 where the psalmist suggests that by hiding the word of God in our heart, we might actually resist sinning against God. I think I like it so much because I spend a lot of time focused on the ways in which we consciously choose what to say, what to do, how to live, how to spend time, how to spend our resources. But sometimes there is real wisdom and power in being present enough, rested enough, meditating enough on the word of God and the presence of God, that in those hard moments, in those quick split second decisions, when we aren't consciously able to go through the smorgasbord of possibilities, that when we have hidden the word of God in our heart, that the very nature of having that within us keeps us from sinning, keeps us from making decisions that would take us away from the presence of God. I'm grateful uh, that there has been much work done on not just meditation in general, but the way in which we as people of faith who follow Christ can meditate on God's word. I've had so many people say to me, Pastor Jen, reading scripture in the morning just doesn't bring me close to God. Or I read scripture and I don't understand what it says. I think there's a different way to engage with scripture. And it's this idea of hiding it in our heart, of meditating on it. The the possibility of maybe simply taking a a piece or a, a phrase of scripture that doesn't require an analysis of 15 verses, but simply a promise. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, or be still and know that I am God, or I seek you with all my heart. I've hidden your word in my heart. One piece of scripture that is less of a explanation or a theological understanding and more a promise of God. And when we hide that in our heart, It then gives us the ability in those split second decision moments to simply fall back on the things that we have placed as foundation within us. I remember a time in my life when I was afraid, afraid to stand up and speak the truth in an institution that I had come to love, a time that it felt like there were so many risks that needed to be taken. And I was changed when I decided to write all of these different quotes on pieces of paper and place them around my room. There were thousands of thoughts in my head, but in my living space, there were probably 25 note cards 
with different pieces of scripture or sayings from people I respected about fear and faith and courage. That experience taught me what it means to hide something in your heart, to so surround yourself with the truth that even when your mind has a thousand questions and ways to go, there's something about a foundation that is present. Today, I invite you in all of the places that you seek change to find one phrase from scripture, one promise, one truth, and to hide it in your heart, to put it on a note card and and paste it on your bathroom mirror. One note of hope that as you hide the word of God within you, it will ground you and strengthen you. I'll share the last story that comes to mind. For the last several Mother's Day in COVID, my daughter has blessed me by literally papering the house with sticky notes, putting them all over above the coffee pot where she knows I go every morning, in the corner of my bathroom uh, mirror, right by the place in the living room where I often sit to read. And one of them actually in the refrigerator. And they're small, simple sayings. Happy Mother's Day, the one on my mirror from the first year says you're beautiful, from the second year says you're still beautiful. And those little notes all around my house become little small reminders of her love for me. It's as if she's hidden them in all the spaces that I might not intentionally look but become faced with that truth. What if we have hidden God's word in our hearts such that in our everyday routine, when we grab the coffee pot, when we brush our teeth and look in the mirror, when we sit to read in a place that we usually sit, we would be reminded of the goodness of God. I'm so grateful that we can stay on the path of truth by living according to God's word. I'm grateful that he calls us to seek him with all of our hearts. And I'm grateful that we actually can hide God's word within us. Lord, thank you. Thank you that your word really does have that much power. Thank you that small, simple promises can be hidden within us and become uh, the strength of armor as we make choices. Lead us, God, to the places where we have so hidden you within us that even when we are not thinking or able to think through with the time that we need, that we can stand on the promises that are you. In Jesus' name, amen.